What's good, you guys? It's your girl Tracy, and I am back again with another video. As you can see by the title, in this video, I'm going to be reviewing a hair company called AF Sister Wigs. I absolutely love this hair company. I love the customer service. Um, I am just so in love with this wig. It is amazing. This is their 12 inch. 13 by 4 lace wig so the lace goes all the way to the back of my head all the way back here That's how far the lace goes so you can do a bunch of different styles with this wig This is their 12 inch 150% density, but I promise you I kind of think it is 180% density just because of how full it is It is super super nice and full so I'm I'm thinking it's 180% density, like they had to have 70, 180. I'm also going to show you guys the difference between Swiss lace, transparent lace, um, regular brown lace. So this is Swiss lace, that's why it looks so amazing, so seamless and like my skin. This wig also comes with like kind of like a wig cap already inside, so it kind of reminds me of um, silk based lace. It's not silk based lace, but it definitely gives me that illusion of it being silk based. So if you guys want to see the install and see the different types of lace, which one blends into your skin the best, stay tuned. But before we get into the video, I do want to say if you guys are not subscribed to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, please like this video, comment any new ideas you have for me. And with that being said, let's get right into the video. Okay, so before we get into the video, I do want to kind of tell you guys the three different types of lace that are most commonly used. So in this video, I'm going to be reviewing this hair, this beautiful wig, and this wig has Swiss lace. You can't really see it because of the floral, but you can't really see it, you see? Because it just blends into everything. So um, this is Swiss lace, so that's what we're going to be reviewing today. So I'm going to show you guys three different types of lace. The most common lace that's used with most hair companies, more affordable hair companies, is called regular medium brown lace. Most companies use it because it's very durable, like it's very thick. It doesn't rip easily. The lace is slightly tinted already. It does kind of blend into my skin, but it will be harder to blend into someone's skin that is lighter. But this is the lace that is used the most over the board. Okay, and then the next one is transparent lace. I actually, sometimes I don't like this lace because it's so ashy, like I have to put a lot of makeup on it for it to match my skin tone. It can be better because it's easier to go darker in your lace than lighter in your lace. So sometimes it can be better, especially if you have like you know different clients and you know you you provide the hair but um sometimes i don't like the lace because i have to put so much makeup on there and even after i put makeup you can still kind of see like a white or like an ashy look to your um to your lace so that'll be the only thing i don't like about it but this one kind of blends into your skin a little bit better my favorite lace is swiss lace because it completely blends into your skin you don't even really have to tint this or put makeup on it it just kind of blend into all skin types. The lace is completely invisible when you put your, you know, your got to be glued or whatever products you want. This is the lace I will actually use for my glueless wigs. Normally when I have a glueless wig, I love to use Swiss lace because you don't even really need product and it kind of just melts into your skin without any product. But you also have to be a little bit more careful with Swiss lace because if you are not careful, you will rip this lace. This lace is very soft and very thin. For it to properly melt into your skin, it's super thin and super soft. So you have to be very, very careful, okay? My last video, I had Swiss lace and I destroyed that lace because I didn't know that you're supposed to be so gentle with Swiss lace. They're not like the other laces that are, you know, kind of thick and don't stretch at all. I wrap my arm up so it could kind of have like the real effect. So this will be the brown lace, this will be the transparent lace, and then the last will be the Swiss lace. So let's take a look at how they look. So these are the three laces. As you can see, the Swiss lace is just completely down while all the other ones are kind of lifting up and you can kind of see them a little bit more. Um, it's hard to see on camera, but the Swiss lace is just flat, okay? It is completely flat. The transparent lace, as you guys can see, it has an ashy tint to it. This one, I always have to put so much makeup on it for it to completely blend into my skin. So yeah, that's the three different laces. Um, let me get closer so you guys can see it a little bit better. So 
So this one is completely flat, completely melted into my skin with just got to be glue spray. This one is a little bit ashy. It does melt into my skin a little bit better than this one. It's hard to see that this one isn't melting into my skin at all because of the camera. But um, this one is doing a terrible job. This one melts into my skin, but it just has a very ashy tint. The regular brown lace is super, super thick. You can just see like it's kind of bulky. It's hard to see on camera, but it is kind of bulky. And you can also see it. You know, it's not like melted into my skin perfectly. But the Swiss lace is the best lace, okay? Completely down, no sides are lifting up, and that's because it is so thin, and it also blends into my skin beautifully. See, when I do that, you can kind of see the tints, but this one just looks like my skin. It looks so good. And these two are lifting up, and this one is not lifting up. And that's just what got to be glue spray. So can you imagine how it would look if I had, um, if I use actual adhesive? It looks so good. This is kind of looking good too, but I promise you, like, in real life with the naked eye, this is the worst one. This looks better than this. But, um, yeah. So without further ado, let's get right into the install. So this is how the wig is looking so far. It looks so beautiful and it's very, very full. It's a little bit freezing because I washed it and I blow dried it. Um, but this wig is looking so good. One thing I find very interesting and very cool about this wig is that it has this cloth-like material on the inside. I think that makes it silk-based, but um, I think that's what a silk-based lace is. But I am not sure. I just really like it because it literally makes it look like skin. And it also comes with an adjustable wig band that I normally never use, but I think I'm gonna use it today to see how I like it. Now I'm gonna use my Gorilla Snot, the one that I always use in every video. Um, I'm gonna put it on my edges and watch how it just melts into my skin. Also remember you guys, I did not tint this lace and I did not pluck it or bleach the knots at all. I just co-washed this wig and I'm putting it on. You guys can't even see the lace already. I'm gonna show you guys when I cut it because it is very impressive.
super super cute it's super bouncy like this is a very very full wig okay so i really quickly want to tell you guys oh it looks so cute I want to tell you guys the specs and details about this wig. This wig is super, super full and bouncy. Oh my goodness. But yeah, I'm going to run through really quick and tell you guys the specs and detail about this wig. So the hair company is called AF Sister Wigs. Um, this is their beautiful 13 by 6 already made wig. The hair length is 12 inches. I believe this is 150% density, but baby, it is very, very full. It might just be 180% density. And like, because this is so full and like, ooh, I am loving this wig. I always curl my bob wig for some reason. I just love how a short... You feel me? Like when it's short and curled. I love that look. The hair color is natural black. The cap size is medium or 22.5 inches. This hair is virgin human hair. The way the knots were made is full single knot hand tied. The hairline was already pre-plucked. As you guys can see in the beginning, I didn't pluck it at all. I literally just put it on and then my baby hairs. They say they gave you baby hairs around the perimeter, but I didn't see no baby hairs. It must have been long, so um, I didn't see no baby hairs at all. The knots also came bleached, and it also had like this fabric under. It reminded me of a wig cap, and I really like that because if you're not really into wearing a wig cap under your wig, you can just put this wig on and it already has like that wig cap method under, so you don't see your braids when you put your wigs on. I thought that was really, really dope. It also has an adjustable elastic band inside of the wig and this elastic band you can take it off or put it back on i thought that was really cool um i actually get that in a lot of my wigs but this is my first time actually trying it and i do like it a lot and as you guys can tell from the beginning this is swiss lace this is the original swiss lace um not that fake stuff that companies be sending you this is actual swiss lace you cannot tell where my hairline starts and ends. I know I got a lot of baby hairs. I love baby hair, so you know. Just cause it's Swiss lace, that don't mean I'ma stop putting my baby hair, cause I love, love, love baby hairs. But um, you can definitely, you cannot tell where my hairline stops and starts. I always co-wash my wig, that's why I co-wash my wig anyway. But um, definitely did not come with a smell at all. Very, very soft, very, very silky. Came pre plugged, came pre bleached. Like, you know, the knots were pre bleached. Just everything was just looking good. I really want to cut some bangs into this wig. Nah, but I'm not going to do that because if I wear a metal part, it'll be a little. But yeah, like I said in the beginning, with this lace, the lace is super stretchy, so be careful with this lace. It's super soft and thin, so it blends into your skin way better than a normal lace would. So I also did not tint this lace or put any makeup on this lace. I didn't put a drop of makeup on this lace, and it blended into my skin beautifully. That's why I love Swiss lace, because you don't have to do anything to them. I didn't tint it or put any makeup, and it's looking this good. But be careful with this lace, but this lace isn't like, you know, super easy to rip. Just try not to be too heavy handed with it, because, you know, it is very soft and everything, but it is still durable, like, um, you know, pulling it or taking it off won't rip it, but just try to be careful if you do decide to pluck this wig, which you don't really need to. You don't need to do anything with this wig, but, um, if you do decide to pluck it or anything, be careful, you know, don't make any holes in the wig, because I have done that before on a different wig, and I was like, damn. But um, let me know what you guys think. I love this. You see, I keep running my fingers through it. Like, it is so butter soft. It is butter soft. So, yeah, with that being said, I don't really have anything else to say. Let me know what you guys think. What is your favorite lace? My favorite lace is Swiss lace. It's just amazing. Um, the technology that they use now for wigs is beyond me. When I first started um, wearing wigs, it was only one type of lace. And now they have so many different types. But I can say that Swiss lace is by far my favorite. So yeah, with that being said, I don't really have anything else to say. I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.